Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to Brad's Bourbon Reviews. I'm Brad and today I have a bottle of bourbon that I am very excited to try. I came upon this bottle very unexpectedly. Um, so let me give you the backstory a little bit. I was going to go do some bourbon hunting. I had no intention of really buying anything because on September 2nd, I'm actually going to be in St. Mary's, Georgia uh, at a new location of Bulldog Liquor opening up. Um, I'm going to go be a part of the opening ceremony, going to drink, have a good time, live band, live music, cool stuff. If you're in the area, come out and say hi. But anyway, so I'm kind of saving my bourbon budget for that. And I go into, I actually just posted the video just minutes ago before I started recording this about my bourbon hunting. So if you watch that video, you already know what this bottle is. Um, but I walk in, I see a few things. I see still Austin cash strength, but I've stumbled upon this bottle and I was shocked this wasn't behind glass. It was $89.99. It is a Four Roses single barrel barrel strength store pick from Total Wine. I don't typically do store picks from the big box stores for a few reasons. One, I like the personal touch of like a local liquor store and getting to know the owner and getting to know their palate versus a nameless person, or I'm sorry, a faceless person at a giant corporation who may or may not have, may even like bourbon and just picked. Maybe I'm off on that. That's just my own personal take on single barrel picks. But I couldn't pass this up. And the main reason I couldn't pass this up is because you'll see, when I cut away in the video, you probably, you've seen it already. This is a 10 year old bourbon and it was bottled in November of 2020. This was the only one on the shelf. I don't know if they like found a random bottle in the back or like throw it on the shelf. We have one there, but this is very exciting. It's a little lower proof than you would think for a barrel proof. I think the single barrels come in anyway at 100 proof, but this is 52.8% alcohol and I'm bad at math, so you do the math, 104, 105 proof, something like that. But I'm very excited to try this. And another thing, I want to say that uh, this is really cool packaging. I like this little leather thingamajig up here. And also, this is really cool too. They give you each of the 10 recipes of yeast that they use and what it is. So it'll be like OBSV, delicate, fruity, pear, apricot, spicy, creamy. Um, this one is OESV. And it says OESV is delicate, fruity, fresh, and creamy. So I can't wait to try this. Enough talking. Let's get this bad boy open and start drinking. I do like Four Roses quite a bit. Uh, I don't know if I have done a ton of reviews of them, but if you guys watched my videos last week, you know that I have a lot of stuff on the shelf that I haven't gotten around to reviewing yet that I plan on getting to, and I think that the Four Roses stuff is in that category. I may have done one or two here and there, but I am a I'm a... I'm a, I'm a decent sized uh, Four Roses fan. It's not like my favorite distillery or anything like that, but I really like their products. So this has just been chilling after being bottled for three years. That's crazy. All right, I'll get that off later. Man, this drives me insane. Oh, wow. You know what's funny? I just recently had a single uh, single barrel of Four Roses the other night. I just randomly happened to pour it because I just hadn't had it in a while. And it's strikingly different. I don't know what the yeast strain is on that one. I haven't checked. So there's definitely fruit on the nose. So this said, I don't like to look at the notes and um, I just did for the sake of you know, this explaining what the different yeast strains are and how it affects the flavor profile. Um, this says delicate, fruity, fresh, creamy. I get like a peach almost, maybe apricot, something like that. Uh, definitely some honey and like sugar, sugar sweet, like cotton candy sweet, but not cotton candy. Just like, like the, the floss sugar sweet. The stuff that makes cotton candy, not the cotton candy itself. It's like putting your nose into a bag of sugar almost. Very, very sweet. There's a lot of smell going on in this glass. There's a lot. Oh man, that is so good. It's almost like a grape too, kind of. That is just absolutely delicious. And the weird thing is, is there's like no alcohol burn on that. None whatsoever. That smells really, really nice. I'm starting to pick up like a... Uh, 
uh, for a second there, I thought it was like a chocolate note, but it's, that's not what it was. It was just some of that more, that sweetness kind of coming through. All right, enough smelling. Let's get to tasting. Wow. Wow, that's really, really good. Almost like some, uh, the first thing I got was kind of confusing. It was very oaky. And then it gave way to some sweetness. And the sweetness is like juicy fruit flavor. Very, very barrel up front. I will say whoever picked this did a great job. Now, that was three years ago. <laughs> um, I, I get a lot. I get. So the first note on the palate is oak. But it's very aged oak. This is a 10-year-old bourbon. Almost 11 years. Um, which, by the way, this, this was only $90 for this. So that's, to me, that's a score. A buy all day for that. But it's... it's um, on the nose... I actually talked to the owner of Southern Grace Distillery. And... I was telling him that I love that like soggy oak note. And that sounds disgusting. But it's that wet aged wood. And I... I taste that the same way I smell it. it. It tastes how that smells to me right now. And then there's a floral note. Like, um... I always say honeysuckle, but, like, taste the way... This is a very interesting bourbon. It tastes the way, like, a dogwood petal smells. Have you ever had those big dog... Or magnolias, not dogwoods. The big magnolias. It tastes how that smells... And then it gives way to like a juicy fruit flavor. I very rarely do this on the show, but I'm going back in for another one because I really, really like this. Not a ton because I got a lot of moving stuff today. Good Lord, this is... I love that nose. Yeah, it's like magnolia. Man. That is a delicious nose. Yeah, oak, magnolia, smell, taste, sweetness. That is a... And the finish lingers. It stays for a minute. Um, not super long. It's gone now. But stays for a second. That is a really good bottle. Um, I would say if you live in the Orlando area, check back and see if they're like putting a few of these out each day or something. Uh, was it the Total Wine and Millennia? And if you can get your hands on this, I would, I would say do that. Um, if anyone watching this works for, uh, total wine, is that, what is this label? Cause it has like the, the today's date on it, eight twenty five twenty twenty three. Um, let me know if that's like a, what, I, is, cause I don't feel like I see that on all the bottles. So I'm wondering, is this like an exchange or so? I don't know how this came to me today, but I'm happy it did. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I will see you on the next one until then. Cheers.